My name is Huben Cherkilov. Shortly I signed my paintings Huben RT. But I'm Bulgarian, hence the name. And I was born there and I came to the United States 17 years ago. I discovered that some mints, for example, Canadian mint and uh, the mint from New Zealand, they start minting coins based on um, pop culture, specifically on movies and uh, comic books. I made a lot of paintings based on uh, Star Wars, Batman, Superman, everything comes from currency. This is from coin, right? This is coin. The idea came when um, I came to the United States and I tried to make a phone call that was before the cell phones. To make an international phone call, you were required to have a pocket full with uh, quarters. I started noticing every state has a different image. I started researching a little bit of history, so I got really into the whole imagery, why, why they put this image on this quarter. From uh, that point, uh, U.S. quarters from different states, I went to paper money, U.S. paper money and international money. I've noticed that American, uh, for example, American dollars are not black and white, but let's say green and white, very boring. As an artist, I'd like to transform this institutional money presentation by introducing colors, because the colors are easy to communicate with people, to start a narrative with my collectors, with my audience. Just to make sure it sticks doesn't have to be perfect, but still. By using the same type of foil from the same source, US Mint uses for uh, security strips on the banknotes. But at the same time, it reflects the light. They're very cheerful, very shimmery. I like the foil. I like the way it reflects the light. It's not only the subject. It's not about just Batman and what the Batman looks like, but my interpretation as well. Why I use this color or how this painting is made, why I use this composition size. Next year is going to be a very busy year. I'm having shows in uh, Connecticut, in uh, Boston, in the gallery, and uh, in, uh, in Bulgaria, in the Museum of Contemporary Art. I've been here for seven years. I know Jane, the, the founder of the foundation. Um, she's extremely helpful. Fortunately, New York City has become very unaffordable for artists to rent studios in Manhattan, so Elizabeth Foundation does help. 